Good morning everyone. I haven't brushed my hair out of the curls yet so it might be looking a bit crazy but I am just about to make myself a bit of avocado toast. It's about half 11 now. I actually woke up this morning. I did a little lower body Pilates. I had a smoothie um, but now I'm having some avo toast because Rue and I are about to go have a really wholesome, lovely day together. I need to put you over here so I can make my toast and talk. Um, excuse all of my washing up that needs to go away in the background, but I know you guys don't judge me, but I need to talk and do at the same time because otherwise it's gonna get late. So I'm just gonna put my toast in the toaster. So we're gonna have a really nice, wholesome day today. I feel like Rue's had a bit of a boring week this week. So we're gonna go have a girls day today. I'm gonna go to this big country park, take her for a walk there. Then we're gonna go have some lunch out, aren't we? A little lunch date together. Then a bit later on, I need to pop to the shops. And it's just gonna be a big girly day in the life type of a thing. Let me turn my toast around. Do I have, yeah. Kenny and I were supposed to do our Valentine's thing tonight. But I'm not sure if we're still doing that. It's because he came back from Swansea last night just with work and they were already not going to get back till about 3 a.m and then their coach broke down in birmingham and he texted me saying they were broken down at 2 a.m so i really don't know what time he got home because he stayed in the um hotel at work so i imagine he's going to be exhausted today um i got some of these new sprouts <sighs> they're not for me they're absolutely not for me they're so bitter i guess i should have known i don't like radish so why would i like radish sprouts isn't that rude? Oh, is that burning? Oh no. <sighs> Burnt my toes talking to you, but I'm just gonna, should we just cut that bit off? Yeah, we'll just cut that bit off. So I'm just gonna super quickly eat this and then we're gonna head out, go for a nice walk, get some lunch and just have a really lovely day. Off we go. I've got my cup of tea for when I get back into the car after the walk um, and a little dog mum for today. Rue was just running away from me. So look where she's had to go. Hmm? That's what you get for running away. You're a little bag dog now. Hey, that's what you get, isn't it? Right, should we free you? Go on, Abby. Right, well, it's absolutely pouring. I've just got into the car. It's not rained all morning. I checked the forecast. Rain was not due. And I just, just left the house, got in the car, pouring with rain pouring with rain and there's two reasons why i am mad about this one is rue actually hates the rain so is she even going to enjoy today or is she just going to be cold and whine and cry after all of this and number two is my hair why have i done my hair today if i'm going to step foot outside and look like a drowned rat immediately oh england i feel so overdue for a holiday i don't know if anyone else i feel like that's such a january it's not even january anymore hannah but you know a start of the year pre-spring feeling is just get me out of here. I am all for winter, I am all for rain, I am all for cold, I am all for coziness, pre-Christmas, pre-Christmas. January comes around, I'm ready for spring. Anyway, we're gonna have to make the best of it because I'm in the car now, I'm ready. I planned my whole day around taking Rue for this nice day. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that it's just a shower because it's not forecast to rain for the rest of the day. And we're gonna make the most of it, guys. A little bit of rain is not gonna stop me, but it is kind of killing my vibe, I can't lie. I've just heard from Kenny, he has arisen. Um, he still had training today, which I don't know how you do that. Um, excuse me, what lane are you in? Thank you very much. So I have got like a new unlocked fear of people merging into my lane because a few months ago I was on the motorway with my parents. It was a four lane motorway, right? So I'm in the fast lane and I was indicating to get into the next lane across, the closest middle lane to me because it's four lanes. Anyway, I see, I notice that the car just slightly in front of me but basically parallel to me are in the slow lane was also indicating. I thought there's four lanes, there's plenty of room for all of us. I'm just moving over one lane and he's just moving over one lane and life's gonna be fine. No, no, no. This driver decided to immediately pull across two lanes into the lane that I was merging in and I had to massively swerve back into the fast lane. And if something had been coming close behind me, like genuinely, that would have been that. Like we would have definitely been in a crash and I was in the fast lane of the motorway so it would have been a bad, bad, 
bad crash as well. But yeah, I really get super scared now. Every time I'm driving next to someone, I'm like, please don't crush me. Please don't drive into my lane. Like, hello, I'm here. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now and I'll see you when we get to the park. I've just pulled over to the side just to show you. It's so pretty. It's really rural around here. Hello. I'm good, are you? Good. Um, what is the best way for me to go just to park the car to walk the dog by the lake? Thank you very much. That's great. See you. You too. We're here. I actually don't know how much that just cost me. Let's find out. £6.50. You know what? I feel like it's going towards preserving the countryside and that is a cause I will definitely pay for. Let me just show you. I shouldn't really hold the camera while I'm driving, but it's a private road. No one come for me. And I'm going literally five miles an hour. Look at all the deers. It's not raining. It's just stopped as we've got here. So today is going to be a good day. It's so, so beautiful here. Let me show you my view. I don't know what's wrong with my voice today. So if I sound ill, I'm not. I just don't know what's going on. And we're super excited, aren't we? We're super excited. We're so excited. Look how nice it is. This honestly is just exactly what I needed. I felt really, oh, I don't know, just not myself for the past couple of days. And there is nothing that makes me feel more positive and just better. Oh my gosh, it's so sunny. And just appreciative and grateful um, than coming out and just seeing views like this. So beautiful. jumped back in the car that was about an hour and a half maybe a little bit more um that walk and now we are just about to go and grab some lunch which i am so ready for i bet this tea is somehow still too hot to drink it's okay but it's still hot i've spoken about them before see what i mean my hair is completely flat now because i dared to be a tiny bit of moisture in the air okay I am ready for some food. So let's turn this car around and get going. Look at the color of that lake. It's like so blue. It's almost turquoise kind of color. Do you know what guys? Someone actually commented on my last video um, saying they were getting like pregnancy vibes. I'm just going over the castle grid. Um, absolutely not. I'm not hiding any secrets, but days like today, I do just get so excited for when that is the time of my life. And just when I've got little babies to bring to places like this, I think it's because I kept seeing families with their kids and they were like looking at the deers and the ducks and the pond and stuff and they're just so excited to be there. But for now, we've got Rue and we've got Kenny's little nephew and that's all the babies that are happening for right now. So I just got a mix of all of the salads here. So there's some chickpea salad, there's some salad with all pine nuts and olives and stuff in. Um, it looks really good. And then I think I'm gonna get a juice and then they're bringing something for Ruth. Hey, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Just went into the dog shop. So I've got a treat for Rue in there. I've got a treat for Kenny here. I've got him some banana bread. And I think we're gonna head home, maybe via the kitchen showroom. I've told everyone that you had the latest night last night. Is that your dad? Are you a daddy's girl? Just making Penny a coffee and I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then we're gonna share this, which is banana and choc chip from the garden eatery. Just thought I would open my parcels with you. This one is from Biomel. 
Um, I've talked about Biomel before. If you've not tried the chocolate Biomel, I don't know what you've been doing. It's so good. Obviously it's all gut health. This one, so good, so yum. I don't know what else we've got in here. Oh, are they all the chocolate? Because if they are, yeah. Be my Valentine. Packaging is 100% recyclable. That's good. And then I don't know what this is. Let me just pull my two. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. 1V X-ray. No idea. It says 1V X-ray on it. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's this. This got here so fast. I literally put this order in yesterday. It's some skincare that I'm really excited to try from this gorgeous brand called Typology. I'll show you more of these once I've actually given them a try. I have one of these now, they're so good. Kenny's just cooked us up some dinner and this is kind of like a new recipe that we have been loving. I don't know if I've shown it to you yet, I don't think I have. Um, but he cooks the stir fry and the rice kind of separately. So it's kind of like a chili rice stir fry with veggies in. I think there's carrot, beans, not sure what else, but it's a spicy rice thing. Um, and then the stir fry that's on top is like a teriyaki kind of thing. And it's tofu. These are Ikea vegan meatballs, just to, I don't know, give it like a meat kind of thing. But you don't really need to use them. We've just put them in because we've got them. Thank you, honey. It's got chili in it. I don't think it even needs any more spice to yeah, it. Yeah, that's fine. No, I know, but I don't even think you need more spice. Hey. Kenny makes me wait for him to start dinner, which is a completely reasonable and polite thing to do. And I agree with that. But then he cooks himself a whole side dish that I can't have, like something like this is an egg, so something that's not vegan. And I then have to sit here looking at my food go cold and wait for this. Does that sound reasonable to you? Do you know, I drove past my dream house today when I was walking through. There was chickens in the garden. You can eat the eggs. And actually, if we had our own chickens, I would eat the eggs. Good morning everyone. I am in fact wearing the exact same top as yesterday but that is for a good reason because I wanted to show you the full set. I wasn't wearing the full set yesterday. Look at this little creature. What? 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 We're gonna go somewhere right now. Okay we're going to the new dog park. Whoa no biting. Ah, ah, ah. Rue. It's from Adenola and it's just the comfiest most like yoga pilates mum vibe outfit just ever and the material is so soft so I'm obsessed with it and I will be wearing this t-shirt and this whole outfit for the entire of today and probably for the foreseeable future I really really like it I don't know if they do it in other colors anyway I am just about to take Rue to actually a new place that we have not been before my life is like Groundhog Day isn't it always walking this dog but the first stop is a couple in my building who've got the tiniest, cutest little sausage dog. She is the sweetest thing. Um, they told me that a new park is actually opened in Manchester and God knows we needed that because there's honestly not a single park in the city centre where you can walk little baby dogs. Is there? Hmm? Is there? Hey? So we're excited, aren't we? Are we excited to go see the new park? Do you know that word? So we're going to go have a stroll, have a look at this new park and then I need to do a bit of shopping that I was meant to do yesterday but just run out of time. So we'll go do that this afternoon and then tonight Kenny and I are going to do our late Valentine's thing which is basically just cooking like a really lovely three course meal at home so I'll show you guys that and I'll show you what we have and that's our plan for today and we are so excited aren't we for the new park we are just so so excited so let's go to the park hey does that sound good She's scared to walk across this bridge. I mean, it's perfectly safe for her to do it, but she's just scared. Rui, Rui, this way. Come on.
it's quite a bit later on now um, and I have just jumped in the car because I'm heading to the Trafford Centre like I said this morning because I need to A do a couple of returns and B there's a few bits I want to pick up if they've got it in stock although I'm not hopeful because some of the things that I'm after today have been on TikTok. I know what that normally means if it's been on TikTok normally it's out of stock everywhere for at least six months or whatever so anyway we're gonna try today and I thought I'll take you with me we can do a bit of girly shopping and then if I do pick anything up I'll do a little haul. I think Kenny's at home like prepping for our Valentine's night so I'm so excited he went out and got all the stuff just a minute ago um and yeah so I'll see you when we get to the traffic centre. Okay let's go. It's actually so quiet, I thought it'd be so busy because it's a Friday, but super quiet, which is the dream. I love this, but I don't really think I've got anywhere to put it in this house, but for the new house, it's so heavy. It's like a marble um, display thing. I feel like that would look really nice in a bathroom with your perfumes and stuff on. Again, love this for the bathroom. They're so heavy though. I don't even want to open that with one hand because let's try and open this one. I mean, I don't really know what you'd put in that, but I do love that. I feel like these are a very Kenny kind of thing. He's always buying these little pots to put like his chili and oil and stuff like that in. Kenny, if you're watching this, do you like these? Because I do. I think they're much prettier than the silver ones that you use. I actually love this for like summer. I really like it, but it's just one of those things where when it's Zara, is every single person you see on holiday also going to be wearing it, you know? These shoes are like the ones that I always wear and I always say are really old, um, but they brought out like a new version with this tiny kitten heel. So just FYI, I've not seen them before, so they must be new in. Although I will say these are $45.99 and I definitely paid like $19.99 or something for mine, but they are identical, just a different thing on the front. And I actually think I might prefer this thing on the front. So there you go. This is one of the things that I actually came in for. Um, like I said, I've been seeing it everywhere and it's for fine hair and I feel like I do have fine hair. So I'm gonna get that, but I don't think they've got the conditioner because they're all for medium hair or thick hair. So I might ask someone. Yeah, that's one thing ticked off the list. This is what I've seen everyone using as deodorant on TikTok, which I'm so interested in because I use all natural deodorants anyway. But I need someone to tell me, number one, does it actually work? And number two, is there any reason you shouldn't put this on your armpits? Because obviously you've got glands and stuff there. So until I know that, I'm not gonna get it, but if anyone can confirm it is good for you, natural, then I'll be purchasing that. This is so random, but like the second person quite recently told me today that I'm tall. And I just, this confuses me because I have never seen myself as being tall. Like I think I'm, five foot seven is that tall because I didn't think it was but I met um it was one of your mums actually I met one of your mums she was so so lovely in boots and one of the first things she said to me was like oh you're tall and that just got me thinking am I tall it's five foot seven tall someone tell me because I thought I was like very average so I thought I would show you what I got I really didn't get anything that exciting in the end but I'll show you anyway the thing I got was this color wow raise the root stuff um, I've seen this like on the internet, you know, going around and and it's meant to be amazing for volume. I didn't end up getting that shampoo for fine hair because it was just annoying me too much that I couldn't get the conditioner as well. So I'll get it when I can get it as a set. And then I've wanted to try the Paula's Choice BHA exfoliator thing for so long because everyone says it's amazing. But I have so much skincare that I thought what I would do is just get the mini one and then if I'm super impressed and it's amazing, I will invest in the big one. And then the final thing I got really boring was just um, like a little powder brush to do under my eyes with powder. And I got this one, I'll show you which one. It's a Morphe one, hopefully you can see all the details there. And that is everything I got. So today was a very successful in terms of doing more returns than buying, which is usually the other way around, which is not a good thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna head home and have our little Valentine's evening, which I'm so excited for. I just got home and went into the kitchen and Kenny said he needs like 15 minutes. I'm not allowed to go into the kitchen. I think just while he finishes making dinner and stuff. So I came in here and put on this dress. Kenny actually picked this dress for me, which is why I chose this one. We're obviously just at home, so I'm not doing hair and makeup and stuff, but I just thought he might like to see me in a dress rather than a tracksuit. I'm excited for a little date night. We don't do presents or anything like that for Valentine's, so just got his little card here, which is of course from both Rue and I. And we're just waiting for 
Do I have to say that we can go in, aren't we? What are we looking at, sweetheart? We just had the other sausage from lunch yesterday for dinner. Because if we get a special Valentine's dinner, then so does Roo Roo. Look what I just walked into. I've got my little roses. I've got my card, which I've not opened yet. And then there's, how good's the heartboard, by the way, for this? And then I think we're gonna have a dip, hopefully. And then we've got some bruschetta and some wine. And you've even lit the real big candle. I love it. Thank you, honey. I love it all. No, oh, they're so nice. Did you get them from the flower shop downstairs? Oh, yeah. And what's that? Like a vegan camembert. It's aubergine pasta, Vic. Aubergine pasta, as Kenny would say. And then look how yummy these potatoes look. They look so crispy. How did you get them so good? They look so yum. We've got a little barley and beetroot, avocado, courgette, basically like a little barley side salad. Um, but how good does this look? Kenny has absolutely outdone himself. And I also cried at my Valentine's cards, so we're having the best time. And then finally for dessert, we've got some cheesecakes, some ice cream on the side, and then Kenny's got a little coffee and I've got a pot of tea. And <laughs> Ray was chiming in, having the biggest drink ever over there. Thank you very much, I love you. That was just the nicest evening. Like Kenny never disappoints. He always comes through on stuff like that. And we had the nicest time. The card that he wrote me made me cry. He wrote me like a little poem in it. And I won't read it to you. Um, it's kind of like jokey, but very sweet at the same time. But the first line was, roses are red, violets are blue. Nothing is better than you and Rue. And then it like went on. It was like the whole card. He'd written this whole poem. And Kenny's like not because words, guys, have just meant the whole world to me. And obviously dinner was amazing. But I just came in to sign off and say thank you so much for spending the last couple of days with me. My makeup's looking a bit worse for wear now. I am off to go and watch Love Island now because Kenny's going to bed. He's got a game tomorrow. Um, I have to admit, I've got well and truly hooked onto this season. And it's the episode after they've come back from Casa Amor. We've been watching it. Jessie broke my heart when she came back in. And Will though. Anyway, it's about to start, so I'm going to head off now and get cosy and ready to watch it. Um, I love you guys lots, and I'll see you in a few days in my next video. Bye, guys.